Hello and welcome to 40 Pleasant Hill Boulevard, Franklin, Ohio. Here I'm standing out in the driveway in front of this newer construction home that was built in the mid-2000s. Panning out, giving you a street view. All the homes in this plat are similar like, her, like excuse me, new construction homes. One of the features of this home is that there is no immediate neighbors to this side. This is a little uh, creek area right here. And next we'll check out the backyard. Here I'm standing in the backyard out by the new rear deck. This deck is about one or two years old and is very a very good sized deck. Backyard is also a pretty good size. Property line is about right there, shoots over. And then the backyard, one really nice thing about it is that there's no neighbors on this side. Now, this is common area over here. The property line's about right there, but it's you know, still being used as backyard by the current owners. So here I'm standing on one side of the deck, and it doesn't look real big right now, but as you walk to the other side, opens up into a really large entertaining area right here. And then the front door, if we'll peek around the corner here, is, or excuse me, not the front door, back door is a sliding door right there. So the deck sits up high where you can have a good view. I'm just giving you a view around the bend here. So now I've just walked through the front door. Oops, sorry, a little focus there. And once I come through the front door, we have a nice size entry in here with linoleum floors and a nice three panel closet door. Straight ahead, now my back is directly to the front door. We have the hallway to the upstairs, the staircase there. Then off to the left, this opens up into a really, really nice, cozy living room. Has cathedral ceilings, as you can see, and is just a great room. Ceiling fan up there that's currently going, and let's walk through the front door. And with this home being newer construction, I'm not gonna list a lot of updates because most of the things are new or newer. But this living room is a good sized, cozy living room. I'm walking to the other side of the living room. I'll give you another view of the living room here in a moment. But from the living room, it takes us to our eat-in kitchen area. Then here's our kitchen. And then over here we have our breakfast room, sunroom, uh, that lets in a lot of natural light. Before we take a look at that stuff, I'm gonna turn around, and give you another view of the living room. a really nice sized cozy room now right here this is the door to the basement over here this is a good sized pantry now I'm walking into the dining room this has updated linoleum in here we have a little breakfast bar right here as you can see the kitchen sink overlooks the backyard outside of those beautiful windows right there sunroom Good sized sunroom, you could use this as a dining room, breakfast room, living room. Playroom has all kinds of different applications that you could use. And as you can see, we have another little bar right here that would be nice for storing stuff and then bar stools, um, all kinds of options in here. And this, as you can see with these windows, it lets in a lot of natural light. Right now it's kind of a gray overcast February day and as you can see, still have a lot of natural light. Now we've already seen the backyard. Those are the sliding doors, uh, sliding door, I should say, to the backyard. I'm walking from the sunroom, morning room, breakfast room to the eat-in kitchen. We'll give you another look at this nice kitchen. Currently has stainless steel appliances in it. So that's the right side. Now we'll take a look at the left side. I apologize, my phone is apparently ringing. So your view from the sink is overlooking the backyard, so you can keep an eye on the kids and the troops. Located off the kitchen is a half bathroom. To the right here, I left this door open, but that is the door to the good-sized two-car garage. There's some shelves built in and some other nice things in there as well. Just on the other side of the bathroom, 
is a good size pantry room. See a nice shelf right there and plenty of room to get your clothes in and out. So I turn on my back to the half bathroom. You can kind of see how the floor plan is. It's kind of a great room feel, but not exactly a great room. Still has some separation. Next we'll check out the upstairs. So here I've just walked up the flight of stairs to the second floor. This is kind of a circular floor plan. Uh, right here we have a little linen closet and the hallway goes down to the three bedrooms, one, two, three, and this is the master bedroom on the left. And we're gonna walk through here first. This is kind of a guest bathroom slash master bathroom suite, kind of could double as both. But we have a shower tub right here we have a vanity right here, so this is all guest bathroom stuff. And you may see my reflection in the mirror, so don't be scared of the scary guy. Toilet over here. And then this door, which you can lock, leads to the master bedroom suite. And we have a sink over here with a makeup area. And on the other side of this door is a huge walk-in closet. Try to give you a good view of this walk-in closet. A lot of storage in here. So backing out of here, give you another view of the makeup area. And then turning my back to that, we'll can check out the good size master bedroom. So I'm walking through and there is the other door that can be used as an entrance to this bedroom. Then we have bedroom number one, two, and then turning back, take another look at the master bedroom. So back in here, we'll take a look at bedroom number two. Currently set up as a kid's room. We have a double six panel door over here. Sorry, a little out of focus. And these bedrooms overlook the front of the house and the master bedroom overlooks the backyard. So coming over here to bedroom number one, as I'll call it, same thing, this overlooks the front of the house. Next, let's check out the basement. So here I've just walked down the stairs, walking into the unfinished basement. As you can see, this is all insulated very well down here. And kind of just currently used as a storage room and a workshop and things like that. But it's L-shaped, where we just walked in is one section. I'll turn back around and give you a look at where we just came from. Right there's the stairs. I just walk through here. So this would be a nice family room right here. There's the stairs, so we could have a nice storage closet. Obviously the furnace and the water heater are both original with the property, I believe. So turning the corner around here, come to another large area that could be a nice rec room, you know, study, office, what have you. There's the panel box with opening, uh, excuse me, with openings for breakers. And let me run over here and turn this light on real quick so we can get a view of this room. But this room, to me, it's best purpose. There's no windows in this room. This would be a great theater room. You have a concrete wall right there. Coming over to the wall right there. So a little projection TV come down would be great. Currently they're using it as a workout room. And backing up here, give you another view. So it's not a big square, it's kind of an L-shaped or, you know, plus this little bump out here, but a good sized basement nonetheless. So here we're back into the area that said could be a great family room. Then turn in the corner over here, checking out this room. One other thing I wanted to point out in the basement, over here, we do have plumbing to add a full bathroom down here, which could make this house a two and a half bathroom home. So we have for the sink right there and for the toilet right there, and the water is just over here. So this is 40 Pleasant Hill Boulevard, Franklin, Ohio. If you have any questions about this house, feel free to call or contact your realtor to schedule a private showing on this home today.